sonic boom. And what you gotta realize is that a sonic boom is pretty much a plasma discharge in the air, which means that these are atmospheric quakes that are happening in the atmosphere, in the air. This is the plasma apocalypse of shame. So we're looking at definite changes here on the planet. And we're looking at definite changes in the atmosphere all throughout our galaxy. All right. That's what happens when you have a fucked up controller. Right. But, um... But, um, I'm gonna say something. Shout out to Remedy H. But, uh, what? come on, man. Alright, so, the reason I pointed that out, him talking about that plasma energy, because yesterday, um, obviously there's been weathering happening some some places on the planet, you know, mainly because we, we know what's out there. There's a wall happening in our skies right now, man, you know? And before the thunderstorm happened, where I live at in Massachusetts, it was bright and sunny. It was in my house. All of a sudden, I saw a white flash of light. Came from outside. Still day out, just like this. It flashed white, like literally it was like this, like, like this is outside and it went like this, and it went like that twice. In the midst of a, like, probably not even two seconds. It was literally like this. It was like. It was like that. You saw how the, um, the light bulb was like that? Imagine that, but a little bit faster. It was like that. And I was waiting for, like, and I was literally, like, waiting for a sound to happen. No sound. That's how I know shit was happening. In this, a world was happening in the sky, man. I'm surprised no one out. I'm surprised no one out there yesterday didn't went outside and were like, "Yo, did you saw some flashes?" Because I would have been like, "Yes." I'm not the only one. I'm probably not the only one that's seeing flashes in the sky now. They look like it's like they're taking a fucking. It's like they're taking a fucking picture. That's what it looks like. That's what it. That's what the light emanates about. It's not like a thunder. That's like you know how lightning is all the time, but this one was just a flash of what of white light. That happened like twice, basically. It's almost like they were speaking in codes on almost, you know? But when that happened, I was looking outside. I was like, what the fuck? You know, I know what I saw. I know what I saw. And I knew that, you know, my intuition told me the, the plasma energies and everything that's coming up from the sky, from the wall and all that shit. And I'm like, yeah, it really is. And then all of a sudden, I hear a loud boom on this on, on where I was at. It was it was thunder, but then it hit the ground. I the ground shook my people. It was like about probably like two two or three seconds. It happened really fast. All of a sudden, all you hear was, and then all of a sudden the ground shook, and I'm like, oh, oh, I felt that. That's big plasma right there. All right. For a minute, for just a minute, I literally thought this shit was about to end right there. I was like, oh, I was literally about to get up and grab my book bag and fucking leave. All right. Because I've, I've talked to nature. I've, I even talked to a tree to tell me, um, I even told the tree, hey, um, is it possible that I can go, you know, inside of you? Because obviously these trees are portals at the end of the day. That's, you know, that's what we did Back in ancient times, too, they were also, you know, they talked to us, they gave us cosmic knowledge and everything like that, but there were also portals. If you ever see um, Koryokuin, I think that's what it's called, I'm probably butchering the animation, but one of their towers that they go through sometimes is like a tree, and that's what we wore. Some of our towers, we can go through it and get out, and when I was talking to the tree, just talking to her and everything like that, the tree agreed that they would help me, the, the, the tree that would help me, you know, I would have my book bag come in that would be my spot to be in and everything like that but i also told the tree like hey if you know if if i still had a chance to grab all my stuff basically that i just need 
that I need, not want, need, there's a difference, like food and water and stuff, then, you know, I could probably bring it over there. And she, and she agreed. She was like, yeah, cool. So I already made plans with nature, with herself. I already made plans with nature to, you know, be with her. You know, I already talked, you know, to one of the trees of like, hey, can I literally have, you know, think of it as like a tree house, but instead of on top of the tree, it's inside the tree, you know, and then you're just down under where the roots are, where the roots are at and everything like that. And I can literally imagine it right now. I'm like in the bunker, basically, and it's all like, you know, everything's all padded and beautifully, you know, it, it looks like a regular room. Basically, it just it has dirt and all that nature and you know, all that, but it's never going to, you know, you're not going to see disgusting stuff on there or anything. It's nice and lit, but the only thing that you see is um, the roots coming down on you. So you, you kind of see the roots that are on you. So when you see the roots on you, you, you know, you could put probably seeds there and all that, you know, put water there because, you know, it, the roots, how the, how's the roots going to get water? So you, you help the, the tree get some water and everything like that, too, you know? Um, that's why I was all imagining. I'm still imagining right now in my head and everything like that. And it's funny too, because since I mentioned it, that was coming inside of me, inside my intuition and was telling me while I was speaking to it. What does that tell you? That tells you that that is real. And that's what's going to happen to, I'm not saying you, that's what's going to happen to me. You know, you have a different journey than I do. So I can't be like, oh, that's what's going to happen to you. No, I, I don't know what's going to happen to you. I don't know. You need to do your due diligence. I can give the information to you. I can give you, I can shout out to people and everything like that and give you the, you know, their videos and stuff like that. But you need to do yourself. You need to spend time with yourself and, you know, either have Magnix, you know, meditate and all that. You don't have to use Magnix, Magnix but have these, you know, I've got this copper bracelet recently. I mean, I still have mine, the one that I made, you know, but I'm using this. This um helps with, um, um, arthritis from what I've heard. I know it's funny too, because I'm all like, I didn't really want to get it for arthritis, but you know, whatever it's copper, you know? So I like it. I like the way it looks and the way it is. Yeah. It's probably not as big, but you know what? It doesn't fall. You know, I don't care, but right? it's fine. With, it's fine in my opinion, but, uh, you know, this is stuff you, you should get, you know, like magnets, copper bracelets and everything like that. I made another copper bracelet. You know, so when the time does come, I could just put this in like this. You know, I could still do that right now and, you know, be ready. Kick some ass and shit like that, you know. So, um, this is what we need to do, people. All right. All right. And especially with these plasma energies all coming in. All right. Every day, every second, every minute. All right. This is it. This is it. All right. Shout out to Isis, Isis, Isis Wisdom. Shout out to, you know, the channels of, um, the channel of, Remedy H, Serious Temple, um, Spiritual Soul, um, what is it, um, TY Spiritual, I hope I'm saying his name right, uh, I have to remember, um, and other youth, and other, um, in tune spiritual people that are on Instagram, Facebook too, you know, like, um, on Roger Mall and stuff like that, um, again, shout out to, again, Isis Wisdom and shit like that, Remedy H, so, shout out to these people, because without these people, uh, we won't know a lot of stuff. And without these people, um, we, some of us won't wouldn't know what's going on around here, you know. And I, I I could be I could be doing that too, but I have my own purpose. These people have their own purpose too. I could say what I see too, which I do, you know. And I will make videos and say that yo, these people said it because it's true, and this is what I see too, you know. You know, um, cause that's one thing that a lot of people will say, be like, oh, so if everyone's having the same thing, then they're, they're probably in cahoots with each other. It's like, no, we, I don't, I don't know Remini H, I don't know Remini H personally. I don't know Serious Tem um, Temple personally and stuff like that. I don't, I don't, I don't know some of these people personally, but then how do you know they're not lying to you? It's because I, because I went outside. I don't know if that can go through your head. This is probably falling to you. Go outside, take your shoes off, and plant them on the grass. You don't have to do that. If, if like, say, if you're on a wheelchair, you can't go outside, right? If you have a wooden floor, like I do in my room, take your shoes off and plant them, and start meditating. Start within five, ten, fifteen, thirty minutes. You know, the minimum is at least thirty minutes a day. You don't, again, you don't have to do it thirty minutes a day. 
you, at least you can at least at least meditate five, at least meditate three times a day. And if that ends up to 30 minutes, cool. Like I, like I've told you before, I'm sometimes I meditate 10 minutes, um, 10 minutes, then another 10 minutes and another 10 minutes, so 30 minutes right there. You know, other times I don't, sometimes I just want to meditate for five minutes. And sometimes I meditate again later on for five minutes. That's another 10 minutes. And then you could add up another five minutes, 15, you know, obviously. So I don't have to go more to that. You guys know, but, um, but the reason I mentioned that again is because this is it. This is the final, the final countdown, guys. We're in, we're here. We're already here. We're seeing shit that is finally starting to come up, okay? And a lot of people want to be like, I want to get this. I want to get that. I won't believe you until I get this. Well, that's your fucking goddamn problem, all right? You don't, you won't believe that this shit is happening at least you fucking goddamn fly or teleport. Let me tell you this right now. That shit's already happening anyways. But the reason you're not getting it is because you're a fucking ego. And you have that mindset of like, oh, well, since, you know, it didn't happen, that means it's never going to happen. You see, that's that type of mindset. Meaning what? It's, mean, it's not high. It's not high consciousness. You're not even being positive about it either. Right? Remember, all minds, what we think, what we say is magic. Okay? That's why I laughed when Remedy H pointed out in this video, I'll put this video in the description box, when he said that all, all these people are going to say that, hey, the sun is um, um, racist. Um, I don't want to... Um, and it's funny, too, because I started laughing my ass off because I say the same thing in my fucking goddamn videos. Do I? You guys know I do. You guys know I do. I literally say that when this shit go when when this shit goes more and, and that sun is killing these people that are not part of nature, people just go be like, oh the sun's racist. And then that's when people figure out maybe that's stupid. How is the sun racist? You know? If it's part of nature, if it's part of the cosmos, maybe you're not part of this planet. People are gonna fucking realize that shit and put that in their head. Alright? People literally. And if people don't see that shit and they're not gonna be like, oh, that's not oh, that's not true, while people are dying in front of them. Well, guess what? Well, guess what's going to happen to you? Cabinet dissonant, all right? I don't care if you're all carbon or not, man. For real, like, you can't be this stupid. When you're seeing a non-color folk die in front of you because they don't have all of that that's made you inside of, the, inside of them and they die, don't come to me and say that, oh, the planet's racist or the sun is racist. The fuck is wrong with you? At that point in time, you should know racism is not a fucking thing. Species is. See, they say species with animals and fish. But what about you? They don't want to say species with the, you know, so-called humans. They don't want to say species with, you know, people that have a humanoid um, figure, basically. You know? So. Let me go back real quick here. Hold on. Here it is. Organics are constantly watching the sun. Yeah. They're watching all the suns. Yep. And they know what is about to take place here on the planet, which is why they're preparing for the great exodus. The exodus. Their people crying out to them and asking them if they can make changes. Can you stop this global warming? Can you stop climate change? It's not global warming, it's not climate change. We're going through a state of evolution. Yeah. But nature is saying, you know what? It's time to get rid of the unbalanced thing. And I dare any of you challenge nature. Right. I dare any of you to call nature a racist. Ha! I dare any of you. <laughs> For fucking real. I said the same shit, man. And you guys don't because you watch my fucking videos, alright? Any troll, any hater, any person that, you know, um, looks at my videos and really gets informed and, you know, and, and likes it and stuff like that. You guys know. All of you know. I don't give a fuck. If, you know, a hater comes here and be like, oh, no, oh, no, what? Oh, no, what? Even if, 
I said it countless times in my channel. The Orc channel and the Nintendo channel. And someone's gonna what? Come here and say no, I'm lying? That's how I know you haven't watched none of my shit. And if you have, you're just lying to your fucking goddamn teeth. You can't say that I'm a liar when I know that I'm not a liar. You know? You know? So, ain't no stand and overstand this, guys. It's done. It's done. It's over. It's over. Alright? Don't suspect. Don't suspect things to go back to what you want to be next year. If there is going to be a next year. Because there's no times, no calendars. We just existed. And that's very hard for people because they can't comprehend it. They're not high vibration. They're not. Because if you tell them that, they'll be like, what are you talking about? Time does exist. Yeah, okay. Yeah, whatever. Uh, how old are you? Yeah, that's what I thought. 